Hello students, today we're going to talk about plagiarism, what it is and how to avoid it. According to Kenyatta's academic integrity policy, plagiarism is the presentation of another's words, images, or ideas as if they were the student's own. Citing your sources helps you avoid plagiarism. It also strengthens your own ideas and credibility and shows your professor that you put effort and thought into your research. So what? If you accidentally plagiarize, your grade will be lower and you might have to redo your paper. But if you are caught purposefully plagiarizing, you might fail your class or even get kicked out of college. There are many citation styles. In this class, we will be learning MLA. MLA stands for Modern Language Association and is often used in English in the humanities. Whatever style you use, you need to be clear and consistent. Sometimes it can be tough to remember when you need to cite a source and when you don't need to cite a source. Always cite if it's a direct quote, you are paraphrasing the words or ideas of another, so you're taking words or ideas from another source and putting them in your own words, diagrams, tables, pictures, etc. that you did not create. You're using facts that are not common knowledge. For example, if I stated that 20% of students drink Diet Coke, I would need to tell my reader where I got that information. There are instances when you don't need a citation. Any of your own opinions or personal experiences don't need to be cited. If you're citing a common fact, like Alaska is the largest state in the US, you don't need to cite. If you are using your own original research that has not been published or turned in for another class, you also don't need to cite. So for example, if you have an, an assignment where you need to go to the quad and poll students about their favorite sodas and write a, a paper summarizing your results, you would not need to cite your own study. This doesn't mean you can't plagiarize yourself. If you turn in a paper to one class that you use in another class, without permission from your instructor, that is self-plagiarizing. It is not okay to turn in the same paper for two different assignments. So remember, learning to properly cite helps you create better papers, avoid plagiarism, and shows that you did your research.